It's Saturday, May 7th, 2016. Got up here last night. Uh, didn't do anything last night, so I got up here late. But today, I'm going to be pouring a new pier under here, uh, right next to an existing one, but I don't like how off-center the, uh, the cabin is on that. So before I make the addition, putting a couple extra piers under there to to support it better and be centered. I got some of the pressure treated wood transported up here over the past couple weeks. Uh, those will be mainly the floor joists for the addition. I reserved a mini excavator that I'll be renting uh, for five days beginning on June 4th. The main goal with that is to dig the well back there sure fits in frame but you've seen it in earlier videos uh, dig that out and then dig a trench all the way down to where the addition will be lay the, the pipe for the water bury that and then hopefully there's time to get more stuff done because I've got a long list of things I could use that for um, also dig dig the holes for where the septic drums are going to go and if there's time dig up a bunch of stumps and also I would love to make that hill a little more drivable I mean right now the um, the trailer is sitting right there because I couldn't pull it up with the with the four-wheeler it's just too muddy so I want to give that a nice curve uh, so it's drivable it is now Sunday May 15th I got that concrete pier uh, finished about a week ago. Got, we've gotten a decent amount of rain this week. The uh, leaves have really been popping out on the trees. I don't have a whole lot to show for, for the past week, mostly just chainsawing and cutting up logs that were already on the ground. Got to make room for the excavator. So I've been thinking long and hard about this, and uh, I had been planning on building the addition off to the left of the cabin, but now I'm leaning more towards the right. That's why I stuck some red flags in there. And eventually I, I think I want to build off on both sides anyway, but I think it'd be smarter to start with the right for a few reasons. Um, the back corner wouldn't be real close to uh, where the hill starts dropping off like it is on the left. Also the wood stove is already on the right to help with heat distribution. And it's not really going to be more work for myself um, other than remeasuring where the corners are going to be. You may have noticed the animal trap is out again. Uh, it's not set yet, but it will be. Late last night, I came outside with Willow, and uh, coming right up, right up my little trail there was a really big porcupine. Um, as always, though, it didn't give Willow any problems, and she wasn't aggressive with it. They just look at each other, and I got Willow inside, and. Uh, have to get rid of that porcupine. It's Sunday, May 29th, 2016. I'm just getting up here, and uh, it looks like the porcupine trap that I left a couple weeks ago has, has successfully captured that porcupine. It brings my total over the years to uh, three porcupines. There it is, being shy. 
because maybe it knows something bad is about to happen. See ya.